Why is the mic off? Is that better? Do you have sound? Well, I'm going to stay here with my bread until we find out if we have sound. How about now? Can you hear me now? Hmm. Sound on now. I hear you now. Okay, so what I was saying about this bag is this is my husband's art bag, and we're going to the museum for the whole day. I'm so excited. He loves me. Okay. And my bread. You already saw the bread. Oh, my God, the smell. I've been doing two. Well, this is my first time doing two loaves because I want to take some to my girlfriends and uh, Easter. But now I have to figure out how to make it last until Sunday. So I think it's got to go in the freezer. Hello, Valerie and Sammy and Tina. Cindy, where'd I go? Jewel, Letizia, Bonnie, Linda, hey. Mary, hey. Vera, Diana, Tina, Lisa. Okay, thanks guys about the sound. Jamie, Carol, Susie, CJ. Okay, bye. Okay, that's it for now. Yeah, I am almost ahead. I'm caught up with all my work. I'm almost ahead of where I need to be. I started on doing the May art for Journal Play Day, but I mean, I'm taking a break and we're gonna play hooky and I'm so excited, so excited. It's the Crocker Art Museum and I don't know what their show is right now, but they always have a different show. Last month was um, African American artists, and I don't know what this month is or if they've changed. I don't know if they change every month, but I don't even care. I'm going. So excited. I'll look at whatever's there. Um, okay, so good morning, everybody. It's Lindsay. Hi, how are you? Glad you got to see my bread. Um, and uh, yeah, this is my website creatorofcuteness.com and I hear you don't have to put the www anymore so one of these days I'll make a new sign when I get caught up completely so bookmark this page for my books my classes my collage elements these are collage elements look how cute you can get these little guys or others Christmas birthday Mother's Day Father's Day all kinds of stuff dogs cats and then you print them and you cut them out and you make cute things out of them. Those are collage elements. Jewel says, just put your bread in the refrigerator and it'll be good. So I just read, Jewel, that you don't put your homemade bread in the refrigerator. I thought about that. In the fridge in a Ziploc bag? I don't know. Makes me nervous. Okay, so that's the uh, website. Oh, this is a new burnishing stick for Z because she lost hers. It's okay that I'm sharing it because, um, because she's already seen it. I have to code it. Today is Scribble Day. Apparently, it's National Scribble Day. I don't know exactly what that means, but I love that we get to scribble today. <laughs> scribble. Um. Oh, and I know what I want to do now, but I got to go get some black paint. So you're going to have to just wait while I get what I need. Um, so that's today. Tomorrow is cats, and I am not a cat person, but I do like drawing cats. So we will get there. April is on the move. We are almost at April. Rebecca Swayze did these great prompts for us. Rebecca Swayze, related to Patrick Swayze, by the way. And she posted these yesterday for us. Um, I will decide in a couple of days, but I'm pretty sure this week we're going to do a mini book. Um, those of you that want to make cards, you can make cards. Um, she geared this up for doing uh, National Letter Writing Month. It says, let's make mail art cute. Let's make cute mail art and stationery. So she was thinking to make cards, you know, that you'd have for the whole year. And that's great. We can do that as well. This goes under here. And then Tina says, mine is in the fridge because we are getting tiny ants. I want to eat my bread without ants. Well, heck yeah. 
I don't want to cut my loaf of bread because it says, everything that I read says the best idea is to cut it in slices and fr freeze that or fridge that, but I don't want to do that. I want my whole pretty loaf at Easter. I'm going to make two more loaves because I still want to make the bunny. I think since I've got it almost perfected, I don't want to say that too loud, but I think I have it perfected enough where I could make a bunny-shaped bread. We shall see. Okay, so journal play day is coming right up. Next weekend is journal play day. It's where we create a new signature journal every single solitary month for how many months? Well, we've only done it. We did the new signature journal starting last year. So we only have a new journal for 12 months so far. And then the three months from this year. Um, but I really like making a new one each month. I hope you guys do too. Uh, how come I can't see everybody's comments? Because Zoyan is on my phone, but not on my computer. Zoyan, thank you for commenting about my collage elements, but why aren't you showing up on my computer? That's really weird. But anyway, thanks. Um, okay, you get one to three pieces of new art each month. You get new journaling blocks for each month. Oh, because they're on YouTube and not on Facebook. I gotcha. I have to look at my phone instead of my computer to thank people for commenting. So here we go. Uh, this is um, some of the artwork that you're going to get for April. You're going to get the butterflies and the borders. You're going to get journaling blocks for April showers, more April showers for grow through what you go through for April Fool's Day for the eclipse that's coming and a plain one for butterflies. You're gonna get a background page. Wait till you see what's coming for May. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, and then another background page, and then another background page, and that's all the artwork for April. <laughs> like for $8.33, you get all of this art. It's like going to a scrapbooking store, but still saving money because you also get these in black and white and in color. You get these in black and white and in color. So it's a lot of artwork, you guys, for $8.33 a month. Okay, next is Beautiful Faces. Terry, did you see my bread? Did you see it? Should I go show you again? I could walk away for a minute and show you my bread if you missed it, because it's so good. Um, this is the book that we will be using for book club for the um, next book club. The way creative book club works is we choose a book of my choosing pretty much, unless you guys recommend one to me because Linda recommended one for next month and we're gonna use that book because luckily I happen to have it. I have a lot of crafty books, but it's always a craft book. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to read it. You don't have to do anything about it except show up. So, um, no, not the bunny. I can't, I still haven't got the bunny, but wait till you see. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, there are four meetings for $30. These are at 4 p.m. The next one is on April 19th, but it's not at 4 p.m. because I'm in the middle of a retreat. So it's going to be a little earlier, I think, or later. I can't remember. But they're always recorded, so you can watch them whenever. Our next book that we are uh, working in is Jane Davenport's Faces book. So we're gonna try to learn how to draw a realistic face. Every year I try this, and every year I go back to my my little sunshine girls. Okay, let's take the phone again. Sorry. Oh, look, my bed's made. That's a, that's an amazing feat. Thanks, honey bunches of oats. So I showed earlier my husband's um, possibles bag because we're going to the museum, but get ready for the bread. This is loaf number one. I'm in the sh I guess. Ow. Feels like I stepped in glass, but look at that one. Isn't she pretty? Okay, get ready for this one. Oh my heck, look how pretty that is. 
and then I'm making the bunny tomorrow or the next day. These are all my um, reject loaves that we're eating because they didn't come out pretty, but they sure tasted good. Terry, here's my Dutch oven. So yummy. Okay, well, let's go back to work. Coming up on the desk. All right, National Scribble Day. Oh, I wanna get black paint. Let's do the scribbling first. Okay, we're gonna take our colored pencils. The bread smells amazing too. I'm going to do lots of rainbow colors and get ready. We're going to scribble. Some Somebody, one of you guys did this in the 100 day um, project. I don't know who did it, but somebody did. Hopefully it works. That is too similar in color. So just scribble. I'm going on two pages here. Yellow. Yellow. Mmm, gosh, my house smells so good. It's really hard to bake the bread and not want to eat it immediately. I don't know how my daughter does it as a pastry chef. She doesn't bake bread, but how do you bake like a cake and then not want to try it as soon as it comes out of the oven? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to teach you how to bake bread. No, I'm not good at it. I mean, I'm just learning. I am kind of good at it, but Terry was my teacher, Teresa Undercover Walker who's here on Facebook in this, in this group. Is this so much fun scribbling, you guys? Make sure you get a lot of scribbling going on because you want to cover most of your blank page if you're doing this with me. If you're not, uh, I'm sorry, but you should because it's super fun. It's real talent here, raw, pure raw talent. Carmen says, YouTube can be your best friend. My best friend, honestly, has been a group here on Facebook. They have helped me more than I can say with baking bread called Sourdough for Beginners. And the people are so, they're like this group. They're very helpful and they don't laugh at you when you make mistakes, which, you know, I do all the time. Okay, a little more yellow. Terry says, you do need me. <laughs> oh, you don't need me. Just go to Pinterest, she said. She said need like kneading the bread. Yeah, you don't need Terry. I did, <laughs> I still do. She's my mentor and master of all things bread. But I even purchased a book. Like, I don't buy a lot of books, so you know it was a good book. I really needed it. What colors am I missing? Let's put some black into this or a darker color. Happy with our scribbles so far? Okay, you're gonna want black acrylic paint and a brush. Ooh, there's a black. Just to put a little pattern into it. Did I do a dark blue? That's the only color I don't think I did was blue. Not that it really matters. There's some blue. Okay, I think... I'm scribbly enough. Let me get the black paint. Be right back. Don't go anywhere.
I'm coming. Sorry it took me so long. Oh, okay. All right. Beatrice, it's in the files section of this page, and Rebecca just posted it yesterday, so it should be right on the top. So I have um, acrylic paint. This is super thin. Can you hear it? I normally don't use super thin paint. I wish I had never bought this, but um, it's going to work just fine. So... Let's think this through. I want my scribbles to show. The hardest thing is going to be the S. Let's try it. S-C-R-I-B-B-L-E. So S-C-R-I. So I need four sections. You can do this, Lindsay. Oh, I hate the S. That's okay. Not horrible. But do you see your scribbles in through here? It's the chunky monkey lettering. If you can't do this without a pencil, it might be harder. Uh, it's tricky. Trust me on that. And then your scribbles are showing through, right? Do you see that part? I hope. Okay. I don't think I'm going to put anything in the center. I'm going to leave it. So when I had my store, our mascot, well, my first mascot was um, Reginald Von Rabbit, Hair Reginald Von Rabbit. But then after about 10 years, I was bored with that one. So then my new logo and um, uh, the name of my logo was Scribbles. And he was a very cute rabbit. The first one was drawn for me by a famous artist, and I can't remember her name <laughs> right now. Okay, do you see? Scribble. Now, I got two things. You could leave it like this, or we can try to paint in the background, which is what I want to do. So bye-bye scribbles. And if you have thin enough acrylic paint, it should dry pretty quick. You know what I mean? So that you can, because we want to use a Posca pen and scribble some more. When we're done here, scribbling, then we're going to keep scribbling. Because it's scribble day. Oh, I got a paint in the center here. My C is not the best letter. I'm going to leave some scribbles showing at the bottom and the top. I didn't know it was scribble day, but I guess most of our prompts that have been from um, Michelle Durham from Creative Mish, Mishmash, um, have corresponded with a day that is actually happening. So, so there. Cute, right? I wish I had done my eye wider. 
and my arm, like my arm got lost. It's very ugly, but it's okay. It's okay. Nothing that a little Posca white can't fix. If I had other colors of Posca, it'd be fun to scribble in those, but I don't. I need to get some. Okay. It's pretty fun, except right here. You can see where I screwed up here with the S and right here with my R. <laughs> but, you know, it's okay. Let's dry this. It is part of the learning process. So the gal, I wish I could remember who did this, um, but she is in the 100-day what do you call it? the 100 day project? And she did tulips, much simpler than doing lettering. But you know, kind of a lettering person here. So kind of had to do lettering. But it's pretty, it's a fun process to try. <laughs> Every time I look at that art, it's going to make me giggle. I have to fix it a little. It's better. It's not great. And I can't fix that because there's no fixing that. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, I have two little spots to dry and then we can start on the detail. Because we all know where the devil is. We know how to find him now because he is in the details. Maybe I should just blot it. Not wanting to dry very fast. Come on, you guys. Come on, you little bits. Nope, not quite. Why do you get those two little spots that just aren't going to behave? Okay, let's check a couple things. First thing is, I have a brand spanking new Posca pen that I bought a long time ago and just found it. <laughs> Deb says, I believe I can ace the scribbling part. There you go, Deb. That's the way. That's the positive thinking. Push down and wait. Push down and wait. Push down and wait. Oh, it flooded. It's okay. Not that much. Okay, so I'm starting with the I. No apparent reason, just because I can. And then we're going to do just scribbly doodles all in the black portion. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to outline all my letters so that I know my scribbly parts can go all the way up to that area. I really want to fix this, see if I can. There won't be scribbles there until I go over it with a pencil. It's not horrible. It's not great. But it could work if the pencil goes on top of Posca. You never know. Okay, well, 
If it doesn't, it doesn't. And you don't have to use white. Colored pencils do work on top of black if you wanted to. No chat shows for me, did for Michelle's class too. Go out and come back in. Because that happened to me earlier and I left the group and came right back in. Find the video again and it might help. There's nothing better than having a brand new pen, right? Am I right? I watched Ann Coberry Scott's um, video yesterday and she <laughs> made me, she made me go buy a bunch of new pens because she had some brand new deco color colors. She had khaki, celery, and ochre, I think. Oh my God, they were amazing. The colors are so cool. And then she had a deco foil pen, which I'm sure I have somewhere. So before I buy that one, I'm going to have to go look because you use it with deco foil. And oh my gosh, the foil looks so cool with lettering. And I always forget to use it. It has to go in my bag of pens that I work with every day so that I'll remember to use it with you guys. All right, so let's decide. Well, let's first try to fix my C and my R. See if I can do that. Move this plate. No. Let's try a real. Oh yeah, with a um, with a real pencil, which is a would be a Prismacolor pencil, it works just fine. Don't use a Crayola or some other pencil; it's not going to work. But a good Prismacolor is a happy thing. Okay, so here's where I need to decide. Let's try some black, I mean some colors, and then we'll go in with, a. Uh, yeah, colors work good. So Prismacolor pencils are the key on top of black. Others are not going to work so good. I promise. This is a, a Faber-Castell Polychromos. Let's see if it works. Not really. You don't really see the green. But with a Prismacolor, you do see the green, probably. Let's try a green Prismacolor. Nope. Come on, Prismacolor. Do I not have any green Prismacolor? I think that's one. Nope, that is not a Prismacolor. Well, let's try a different color of a Prisma color since I can't seem to find one. Let's try this bright red color. Meh. Not so much. So we're going back to the white. Let's try yellow. Oh, yellow works good. So some colors are better than others. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Can you guys see all those colors? All right. So almost brand new Skinny Posca. So this one that I just opened was a 3M, a PC 3M. The one I normally use is a PC 1M. So that's what we're going to scribble the rest of this with. Okay. 
And I don't know, do I just want to scribble or do I want to doodle? Let's do some doodles and then maybe scribbles after that. I'm not sure. So we'll just play. So there's a new restaurant in Sacramento that's a mac and cheese restaurant or a grilled cheese restaurant. I can't remember, but that's where I want to go for lunch. Already planning my day. Okay. I bought some green Prismas and wow, are they expensive. Oh, metallics? Yeah. Metallics are going to eat you alive. Any metallic, anything, even in watercolor and stuff, I think the metallics are more expensive. Is that right, Carmen? I know there's some ink that I want for my fountain pen that has metallic in it. So like you write in blue and it comes out gold. I wasn't going to say this, but I know I'm getting it as a present from somebody, but I really want it. And I know it's ex more expensive than the regular fountain pen ink. So that's a pretty great gift. So are you guys going to scribble on National Scribble Day? Oh, my pen just splattered. Did you see that? I got white splatter right there. Nothing that I can't hide because we are scribblers. Carmen says yes. I don't remember what I asked, but she said yes. Let's put a little snail here. He looks like a snail. Cute little snail. I think we're going to scribble the rest of the thing. Somewhere, I guess right here. Oh, man. That just really flecked or flaked or whatever you want to call it. Little bunny. Go back over here and put another bunny. Because I'm pushing backwards, so it's just um, splattering. I had to go to my favorite thrift store today, which is the Mormon thrift store, which is called Desiree Thrift. They have the best stuff. They launder all their merchandise when it comes in. Okay, we're going to scribble now. Um, they launder it and iron it and then put it out for sale if it's closed. But they have amazing, um, I don't know, they always have stuff I buy. Can't tell you exactly what it is, but there's always good stuff. And it's a huge thrift store. So what am I looking for today at a thrift store? I usually don't look for clothing, so um, I'm looking for things to use for the retreat. Oh, the pen is going to not be happy occasionally here. And this has to be thicker or we're going to lose it. It's, it's um, getting stuck in some of the black paint, if that makes sense. So sometimes you have to scribble it off on another sheet of paper. Does that make sense? I know my scribbles are not really scribbles. But this is how I do African-American hair and my mom's hair. 
my mom, <laughs> who also had uh, curly Q hair. I do it much tighter than this one I'm doing here for people that have curly, kinky hair. My mom always used to say she had kinky hair. And as I got older, that made me laugh. Like, Mom, you're kinky. So yesterday was the second day for Atticus playing soccer, but they don't really play soccer at this age. They just kind of kick the ball around. And then after soccer, we went to dinner um, at nowhere that I like to eat, so we won't even talk about the dinner. But Atticus, after dinner, he was he had his head on my lap and so cute. God, he's so cute. And then I look at him and he's laughing. He goes, Bubby. I just ate my boogers. Oh my God, I laughed so hard. And the mo his mom and dad, my son and daughter-in-law are looking at me like, please do not, do not feed his um, craziness here. And I went, oh, Bubby used to eat her boogers. Oh my God, he laughed so hard. He's like, you did? And I go, yeah, but you don't want to eat your boogers because you want to eat more of your dinner. And he's like, but I'm done with my dinner. Uh, uh, it's so funny. He goes, I like to eat my boogers. God dang, that kid's so funny. And he's got to the point where it's so cute. He goes, like he's thinking things through. And he goes, Bubby, what if cows ate French fries? And he's like laughing through the whole thing. And I go, I know. What if cows ate French fries? He goes, that'd be so funny. So cute. Carmen just gagged. Well, yesterday we had a discussion about cleaning a toaster. Um, should we have a discussion about who ate their boogers as a little kid? I don't want to because Carmen will gag. So funny. Things like that just make me laugh. Oops. My pen can't get down there in that little crevice too easily. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. But isn't it cute? Do you like it? Do you like it better all black or do you like the scribbles? My pen needs a little shaking. Shirley says, yes, I cleaned the dumb toaster yesterday. That's so funny. That's so funny. Terry says, I wish the lettering would come to me Oh, I don't know. I it, it went backwards. I can't read it. Maybe we should do half black, half scribbles. What is that? Glitter. Scribbles is perfect when you're having a shaky day. My hands are very shaky today. <laughs> Tina says, my oldest son came into the house with a toad in his pocket. Oh, everybody likes the scribbles. Okay. All right. You don't have to ask me twice.
Uh, what else can I talk to you guys about? Yesterday we were watching, my husband was watching reels on the way to see Atticus and there was a commercial for Auto Trader in a reel and it was Bo Duke, honey. Well, it was John Schneider and the other guy. I can't remember the other guy's name. All I remember was John Schneider. It was the Duke brothers driving in that orange car that they used to drive in the Dukes of Hazard. But it was all updated, and they had a cell phone, and they were doing auto trader while they were driving their car. It was really funny. And then the police came, you know, and they went through a barn. Anyway, look up Dukes of Hazard auto trader commercial on YouTube if you want to see it. It's really funny. Tom Wolpat, thank you. Yes, I did get my whiting for my fountain pen. Have I used it? The answer is no. Because I'm I need another pen desperately. But I'm too cheap to buy one right now. Because there's a lot to buy. I had to buy a $27 ham for Easter. So so no. I still have like six brand new Posca pens to use up before I get the um, white ink flowing, going, flowing. I do like these wider openings for our scribbles. You could do the same thing with like scrapbook paper underneath or a map. A map would be kind of cool. But why when you could just scribble? So sad about those uh, construction workers on the bridge. I keep thinking about them just doing their job. So sad. There's been a lot of sad news lately around here. Two young boys got mauled by a mountain lion. Two brothers and one of them passed away. But let's talk about something else, Lindsay. Don't bring everybody down. Let's talk about my bunny bread. I'm thinking when I make my bunny bread, I'm going to turn my camera on. So if I do... Um, Maybe I'll do that and film it because the bunny bread is going to be amazing. It may not come out, but it's going to be amazing to try to at least get it to that point, you know. And then April Fool's Day is Monday. And then it's April, and then we have tax day. Ich, I hate tax day. April 15th should be a legal holiday, at least for those of us that do self-employment tax, because we have to save our money all year long just to pay it back to the government. It's awful. That's happened to us for years because my husband's been self-employed and I'm self-employed. No fun. I always used to like it like when you voted and Winchell's Donuts would give you a free donut and tax day sometimes places will give you free stuff. Oh, Carmen, it's your dad's birthday today? Yeah, you better make a card. Filling in the bunny's ears. I think, kids, that we are done here. That bunny came out better because she's bigger. I could just keep going. Scribbling is fun. 
It's fundamental. But I got to get going because the Crocker Art Museum is calling my name. Lindsay, come play. This definitely would be fun with different colors of um, Posca pens, but it was definitely fun with just white. All right, kids. Bring the camera up. Hold the phone. So this is a black sparkle pop. Let's see what happens. It comes out kind of purpley, but I do like it in here. I do love my sparkle pops. Not much sparkle pop, but just a little. Okay, ready? S-C-R-I-B-B-L-E. I hope I spelled it right. Okay, that's it. Did you want to see my card from today? My, um, I haven't been showing these, but it is kind of fun to see. Here's my Panatone card for today. I did a scribble bunny with gold paint. Can you see how gold it is? So it's all scribbled for scribble day. Okay, if you want to see more of the 100 Day Project, go over to the 100 Day Project with Lindsay, and you can see everybody's amazing work because uh, there are some people that are like way beyond what I could do as in the art world. So I'll take a picture of this, probably a little video because it's going to be hard to photograph the whole thing. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow when our day is, was what? was something. Oh, kitty cats. Respect your cat. I don't know. I don't know. I'll do something. I got to do one thing here. I'm not liking it. I don't like all this extra black space. So we're going to go white dots in the middle of these flowers. Too much black with all the other white. I could see that through the lens of the camera. Okay, so have a good day, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. And um, be good humans. Scribble your day away, even if it's um, not scribbly. Scribble. All right. I love you guys. I'm going to go play hooky. Yay! Have a good day. Bye.